Um, basically, there's an old pattern called the Grenadier. Um, similar to a soldier palmer, which <clears throat> um, I suppose another my hackerbirds, another um, somewhat forgotten uh, a pattern at times. And um, soldier palmer, I, I did a video on the Solwick, which, which is a I suppose a bit of a spin off of the Sol soldier palmer. And the the, the, the Grenadier is, is a similar fly. Instead of red wool for the body, it had orange. Um, so I like to tie these flies that are, <coughs> as I say, maybe a little bit forgotten and I like to sort of modernize them for the Irish locks. So I'm going to tie Gorgeous George um, variation or version. Um, so it's going to be like an orange gorgeous George, but it, the idea behind it, as I say, is, is the fly called a grenadier. So um, we'll start with a, a wet fly hook, size 10 in the vise. Uh, this looks like a fulling mill. Um, we need some thread. So I'm going to use some um, classic waxed in a bright orange. I'm just going to start behind the eye. Run it down, I get to here. I'm going to cut off that tag end. And I'm just going to come down to just before the bend. I'm going to add some holographic gold for the butt. So let's catch that in a couple of turns and I'm just going to go down. Be careful your barb there. Go down a couple of turns, come back up. A few turns behind, turn in front to lock it, and you can trim that off. <coughs> Now, for the tail of this, I'm going to use some bright orange uh, UV, um, so it's, 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 it's a flossy type tread um, by um, Tommy Fly. And it's going to tie in. I've basically pulled off a bunch of strands. I'm just going to catch that in here. And it's going to go up. What's the length of the body? I'm stopping a little bit short because I'm going to do this a gorgeous George style fly for the Irish locks and you have to be careful because you're going to be using a bit of hackle on that. Um, for the um, rib, I'm going to be using a uni French um, gold or oval gold as we tend to call it uh, in this case. It's probably about a medium. So I'm going to catch that in here. I'm just going to bring the tread back down. I'm just going to hold everything in place as I come back. And I just want to make sure that I'm just getting back down to the start of the tag. So let's get that tail. It's up to you. I like it fairly short on this type of pattern. And I'm going to get some wax. I lost my wax, so I had to make another ball of wax. I'm just going to give my tread another little touch of wax. I'm going to add some orange for, so this is the Frankie McPhillips. Um, and I'm going to go with orange. So you could probably use a sunburst orange, or you could blend some colours, but that's what I'm going to go with. Get a turn or so, and then you can start working it down the body. And just give yourself a bit of room there. Um, the hack that I'm going to use is a light brown, um, so it's a bronze whiting Herbert. 
uh, cape in light brown. And I'll the package and pull off a hackle off of that. Usually pull one off that's long enough to get two flies out of it. So these are pretty good hackles. Her hackle and just hold that and then pick. I like to try and pick a spot where the stem isn't too thick and you're getting a bit of colour with this with the hackle there. So trim that off and catch it in. Good and tight. And then if you want you can use the hackle pliers actually. I know my hand might be slightly in the way, but I just prefer it. So you get two turns at the front. It's up to you how bushy if you like you want to make the fly. Just bring it down and get your rib. Catch it in. Probably get at least three turns of rib on this. And just pull everything back best you can tie in your rib a few of those fibers there trim that up and I like to stroke everything back If you want at this stage, uh, you can locate it. You can use one of these type of tools. I'm just going to use the Velcro just to pull a little bit of the far out. Like so. Right. Okay. Um, then we add our legs. Remember my legs are gone. So I'm going to do two each side, just knotted pheasant. These are ones I knotted yesterday evening because I knew I was going to be tying a few wets for a trip to the west of Ireland. So a lot of carbon masks. So I like to get the pheasant just to the end of the tail. So get two in on top on this side. Um, I generally prefer the legs of my flies on the side, but this is the way George's are tied so we'll stick to stick to the way they're normally done <clears throat> and I get two in on top on that side like so when you're happy then a couple of turns of thread just to secure them in and we trim those off Just tidy that up a bit. And then, so you could put a red game or another brown hackle on the front here. I'm actually going to use a fiery brown. Um, I'm going to take one from the, the back of the cape, a shortish one. Uh, that's more of a hen type feather, it's much softer. And I'm just going to remove the fluff off this end. I'm just going to catch this in by the tip. Trim off. Just tidy everything up a bit. It's not bad. And then I'm just going to use the hack of pliers this time. So as I'm winding, I'm just going to fold this a little bit. So I get maybe three turns of this. Like so. Front. Let's take off that set. I like that tires, but it's, it is a big one. Let's stroke everything back again. 
pretty neat. And then just trim off the vestige of your, of your hack. Okay. So, you don't have to do this, you can do it another way. I'm going to turn this upside down and then I've got a large dyed orange grizzle. You can use other fibers like um, guinea fowl is typically used, but I, I just like this. Again, just I like the movement of it. So take it out right angle and then just pinch off a couple of the long ones from down near the stem. And just catch that in underneath. Pinch and loop. Make sure you're happy with it. This is a little bit tricky, but take your time. Try and use sharp scissors if you can. And then I'm gonna rotate it back the way it was. I'm gonna have a little bit more wax onto the tread. And I'm gonna add a split jump with cock feather. So can I find a nice one that's not too Actually, I'll add two, if I can get two thin ones. Tend to be a little bit thinner to the side of the side of the cake. So, let me try these. I'm so, just gonna peel off any, no one split, but that happens. I say it split the stem, split the, Feather itself didn't catch one in on top here. So try and get this other one on your side now. The turns, fold it back. This sort of wax in the tread is really helpful here, gives you that grip. You just want to cover up those white bits now. As best you can. So, catch up. We've finished two. Your head cement or head lacquer. Apply a couple of drops of that, then trim off your tread. And there you have it. An orange, gorgeous George, or a grenadier type fly. Blinged up a bit for the Irish locks.